On October 14, 2023, most of North and South America will be able to see at least a partial solar eclipse, and along the center line of the path of the Moon's shadow across the Earth, lucky observers will be able to see an annular eclipse, also called a ring of fire. Here in Texas, the path of annularity will pass through western Texas between Midland and Odessa, through the hill country in San Antonio, and on to Corpus Christi before passing over the Gulf of Mexico towards the Yucatan Peninsula and beyond. Being safe during an annular eclipse is very important, because the sun is never completely blocked by the moon and can cause eye damage at any stage of the eclipse. Therefore, during an annular solar eclipse, it is never safe to look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection designed for solar viewing. Looking at any part of the bright sun through a camera lens, binoculars, or a telescope without a special purpose solar filter secured over the front of the optics will instantly cause severe eye injury and even total blindness. When watching an annular solar eclipse directly with your eyes, you must look through safe solar viewing glasses, or eclipse glasses. You can also use a safe handheld solar viewer at all times. If you normally wear eyeglasses to correct your vision, keep them on. Put your eclipse glasses on over them, or hold your handheld viewer in front of them. Stand still and cover your eyes with your eclipse glasses or solar viewer before looking up at the bright sun. After looking at the sun, turn away and remove your filter. Do not remove it while looking at the sun. Eclipse glasses are not regular sunglasses. No matter how dark or if they are polarized, regular sunglasses are not safe for viewing the sun under any conditions. Safe solar viewers are thousands of times darker than any sunglasses and must comply with the ISO 12312-2 international standard. Always inspect your eclipse glasses or handheld viewer before use. If it is torn, appears scratched, has pinholes, or is otherwise damaged, discard the device. Adults educated in solar safety should always supervise children using solar viewers. It is also important to never use eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer to look at the sun through a camera lens, telescope, binoculars, or any other optical device. The concentrated solar rays will burn through the filter almost instantly and cause severe eye injury. Even a small telescope like this 50mm refractor, with an objective lens similar in size to many common binoculars, will concentrate sunlight enough to start to burn paper, and will burn through the filter material of eclipse glasses in much less than a second. These eclipse glasses, burned by the concentrated light of the sun through the telescope, are unsafe and must be discarded. This is what happens to the inside of a telescope eyepiece when pointing a telescope at the sun and not using a proper solar filter. Just a few moments of concentrated sunlight not only melted the plastic holding the eyepiece lens, but damaged the lens itself and made it foggy and unusable. It is not difficult to imagine what would happen to someone's eye had they looked through the telescope at the time. If you do not have eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer, indirect viewing methods which do not involve looking directly at the sun should be used. A pinhole projector has a small opening and projects an image of the sun onto a nearby surface. You can use an index card with a pinhole, projecting the image of the sun onto a piece of paper or any flat surface. With the sun at your back, you can then safely view the projected image, but do not look at the sun through the pinhole. You can also build a pinhole camera in a box, using a cardboard box, some white paper, tape, and aluminum foil. The foil is taped over a cutout hole in the box, and a needle or pin is used to poke a small hole in the foil. This projects the image of the sun onto the white paper inside of the box. Do not use eclipse glasses or handheld viewers with cameras, binoculars, or telescopes. Those require different types of solar filters. When viewing a partial or annular eclipse through cameras, binoculars, or telescopes equipped with proper solar filters, you do not need to wear eclipse glasses. The specialized solar filters on these optical devices do the same job as the eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. Before using a solar filter with a camera, telescope, binoculars, or any other optical device, seek expert advice from an astronomer. Local astronomy clubs around our state and across the country are helping to teach proper solar safety to the general public. Note that solar filters must be attached to the front of any telescope, binoculars, camera lens, or other optics except for one very specific and specialized filter called a Herschel wedge. Do not ever remove a filter on a telescope or other optical device during a partial or annular eclipse, as this can cause damage to the telescope and severe injury to anyone looking through it. During any solar eclipse, please remember that the sun is very bright through the partial phases, both before and after the maximum annularity. 
If you are watching the entire eclipse, you may be in direct sunlight for several hours. Remember to wear protective clothing, sunglasses that provide UV protection, a hat with a brim, and sunscreen for exposed skin. Just remember to never look at the sun while wearing those sunglasses. Thank you for watching, and please remember to stay safe while enjoying the upcoming solar eclipses. To support our efforts, please like and subscribe to this channel.